Hi and welcome to Paints and Glitter. This is Raquel and I welcome you to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a very special project. This is my July 2020 Christmas in July project for Renee Bouquets. I have chosen these items to show you different things that you can get from Renee Bouquets and also to remind you of this month's special which is a coupon that will work on any beautiful board pieces that you may purchase. I've used for this project a repurposed board. I've also used items from Spellbinders and of course little, little items from my stash that I have incorporated into this beautiful beautiful de home decor piece. So to begin I wanted to show you an up close of all of these different items that I've used here which are the beautiful box small square shaker box, the small shabby Christmas tree, also different snowflakes, a beautiful word that says Merry Christmas, I've used Holly Flourish laser cut chipboards, and the decorative scroll flourishes, and I've also used Holly and Berry tuck-ins here and there and of course as you can tell I've also used the jingle of course I've also as you can tell used the red mulberry paper poinsettias and holly leaves flower set I've also used jingle bells in the six six millimeter size and the cranberry translucent glass microbeads so let me point those out for you so you can see how I've incorporated these items into this gorgeous project. The first thing that I did was that I selected a board that, believe it or not, was a sign for the 4th of July. And I've stripped it away, I took everything off, and I just left it as the particle board in the background. I then took some designer paper, perhaps you can see some of the detail here, and it's Christmas paper that I've adhered onto this board. And what I started doing was assembling this little scene that you see here with the little girl. Isn't she adorable? And she's got her little Christmas gift. She's already opened that up and <laughs> she's riding around with her little horse here. But here's what I did. I went ahead and tied some of these little bells that you can get from Renee Bouquets onto that little horse. I just thought that that would be playful and fun. As you can tell, this is a very Victorian style home decor piece. And what I did here was that I took the Christmas tree. Now this comes in a nude color. All of the beautiful board pieces come with no color at all. It's up to you what you want to do with it. So what I did was that I used three different colors of green and also some gold gilding. I did back that up with a lighter green paper and I topped it off with all sorts of little baubles just as you would see on a traditional Christmas tree in anyone's home that's been decorated by small children and you know how children are they will put up anything that's shiny it doesn't even have to match children don't care about that sort of thing so that's exactly what came to mind when I was putting this little tree together so these little baubles are actually made of felt these of course are little gems and I went with a red and green and just played around with it and had some fun um, because I wanted this to have some whimsy to it just as any other project that I make and here I made a little fireplace now this is one of the beautiful box square shaker boxes from Renee Bouquets that you can pick up so yes there are this is a shaker so uh, even if it were to swing at any moment you could get that interaction there so what I did was that I created a little fireplace all I did was paint some paper I cut it out in the shape of flames and I also used a piece of felt ribbon that I layered on top to create that look of flames and those little bricks that you see there are hand colored bricks that I also made with beautiful board pieces from Renea's shop on here you see this gorgeous holly with the ribbon this is also hand colored i went ahead and altered that to match and that is also available from renea bouquets as well as these gorgeous sunflakes as well as these gorgeous the heck are these called <laughs> okay all right as well as these gorgeous snowflakes that you see here every single one of these 
are also hand painted to match the background and I've also even added little dots of Nouveau drops in bronze so that way they would coordinate with the background. Here's another one that I used to top off the Christmas tree and I added a sequin and a gem on top of that. And it was just all so much fun to put together to make sure that it would be coordinating one with the other. Uh, these beautiful board pieces here, these corner pieces that you see, what I did here with these flourishes was that I first painted them in red and then I used gold gilding. And let me see if you can see, if I hold it here at an angle, you can see that. So you can tell that there's some gold gilding there. I did the same with the Merry Christmas, and this is backed up with a nice uh, dimensional frame here, and I did use a Spellbinders die to add this to the board. And what I did here was that I painted the Merry Christmas, and I also used the gold gilding, and all of those little micro beads that you see there are the cranberry colored micro beads available from Renea Bouquets. Here's the uh, little snowflake that I hand colored and added there and then topped off with a little red bead. And they, there are the gorgeous poinsettias that you can get from her shop. Now, just to let you know, so just to let you know regarding the poinsettias, this is what they look like when you get them from Renee's shop. They do have a light beige colored center and these are just completely white. What I did was that I altered mine and that's what's so great about these pieces is that you can make them your own. So I'm having to hold this sideways so it'll fit in frame. But if you see here what you can do is you can paint these to match whatever project you're making. All I did was that I painted them with bronze and gold colors and then uh, of course I sprayed them as well with gold so that way this would match uh, the background here. And uh, these little flowers here, uh, these two as well as these smaller ones are not from Renea Bouquets, those were given to me, but the poinsettias are all from her shop. And then I did add some Nouveau drops to the center. I just colored these centers with Nouveau drops. That way it would match my project there. So all of these little holly pieces that you see here, these beautiful board pieces are printed and they are also from her shop. It's all available there as well as these pieces down here. I'll be linking down below this video all of the details and the names of all of these products so that you can take a closer look they all come in as i mentioned before a nude color so you get to color them as you wish with the exception of course of the ones that are already printed but i also wanted to show you another example of the little fireplace that i made there that's a shaker box as i said before so here's another one. For this one, I used glitter paper and I used some of the snowflakes from Renea's shop, as you can see there. And those I did not color. So you can see that this is very versatile. You can make them however you like. And what's wonderful is that it is transparent on both sides. So if you wanted to use it as an ornament even, you can do that. You don't have to, of course, adhere it to another surface. But I hope that this serves as inspiration for you, that you like this project. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I'd love to get your feedback. But all of, all, all of these items, of course, are available in the shop at this moment. It's a wonderful time this month of July to get started on your Christmas projects and all of your Christmas gifts. This one was very easy to make. It was just a matter of just putting them all together and coloring them and having fun with the different pieces. So I hope, as I always say, that you can be inspired and be blessed. And I thank you so much for watching. And if you're wondering about the music that I have playing in the background, that is traditional Puerto Rican Christmas music. I hope you enjoy that as well. Take care and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.